Hey, me again. I'm here in San Francisco doing another special episode of Men's Wild Adventure in both San Francisco and Hawaii. And right now, I've come across an elephant seal on the beach. They said it's a male, but I think it might be a young male because it's not that big. Elephant seals are huge, especially the males. Members of the seal family are called pinnipeds, and elephant seals are the largest pinnipeds in the world. The largest one ever was 23 feet long, weighed 6 tons, and had a trunk-like nose 2 feet long. That's why they're called elephant seals. They're smaller than actual elephants, but bigger than rhinos and hippos. Now we've just come across another species of pinniped, California sea lions. Aww. We saw I, saw, I saw those in Seattle too. And um, California sea lions, hence their names, they live here in California. They weigh about a ton, but they're not as big as stellar sea lions like the ones I saw in Alaska. And you can hear them barking behind me. They all gather up in big groups like this. They're probably sighting themselves. There's huge colonies and, and there's some fighting over there. And the diets between seals and sea lions is pretty different. For example, the sea lions, they like to eat fish and crustaceans. The elephant seals, they like to eat octopus and squid. And I think it makes sense that they're keeping their distance from each other because I don't think they would get along with each other very well. I'm here in Paradise Cove, Oahu, in Hawaii, and as you can see, I'm in the water. And just to my left, right in those rocks, is a green sea turtle. Now, there's different types of sea turtles, and <clears throat> they said green sea turtles live here. Green sea turtles can hold their breath underwater for as long as five hours, probably the longest of any of any turtle, and maybe even the longest of any animal. And right now, he's coming closer. And according to Finding Nemo, they can live for 150 years. See, he just came up to breathe. And and sea turtles are vegetarians. And um, the largest sea turtle in the world, which is also the largest member of the turtle family in the world, is the leatherback sea turtle. Its flipper span is 9 feet wide, it's 10 feet long, and weighs 2 tons. But the largest member of the turtle family that ever lived was a giant prehistoric sea turtle called Archelon. It lived alongside the dinosaurs in the oceans during the late Cretaceous period 80 million years ago. Its flipper span was 20 feet wide, it was 20 feet long and weighed 6 tons. Archelon was three times bigger than the leatherback sea turtle and the size of an elephant seal. Can you imagine swimming with one of those? I hope to see a leatherback sea turtle here too, that'd be incredible. Now I'm in the Waimea Canyon Lookout in Kauai. And as you can see right beside me is a rooster. There's wild chickens on this island that I've discovered. There's so many here. It's full of chickens. Now remember, roosters are male chickens and female chickens are called hens. And the difference between roosters and hens is roosters are larger than hens and have bigger feather tails. They also have bigger combs and bigger waddles. And only the roosters crow, and um, roosters don't just crow in the morning, they also crow all day long too, sometimes even at night. They may wake up farmers, but that's not why they crow. Roosters crow to communicate with other roosters and hens. It lets their friends know where they are and how they're doing. Behind me right now is a black swan. Now this is kind of interesting. I think black swans are native to Australia. My guess is if they migrate, they probably fly from Australia to Hawaii and back. And as we all know, most swans, like the mute swan and the trumpeter swan, are white. And there's also the black neck swan, which is white and has a black neck. But the black swan is all black. And what's cool about swans is swans have more neck vertebrae than any other animal in the world. They have 30 neck vertebrae. 
but there was a plesiosaur called the Lasmosaurus. It had more neck vertebrae than any other animal that ever lived. It had 80 neck vertebrae. Now I'm back on the beach again, and behind me are two Hawaiian monk seals. There's a sign here that says that they're both males. One of them is named 339. He's eight years old. He might be the larger one. And the, the other one is named G22. He's only five years old. He might be the small one. They could be brothers. And the Hawaiian monk seal has a cousin called the Caribbean monk seal. But the Caribbean monk seal went extinct in the 20th century. Hey, if we're lucky, maybe they'll go in the water. Oh, he's going in! He's thinking about it. Oh, I think, I think they're getting ready to leave. Go on, guys. Getting, that guy's definitely in the water. He's rolling around in the water. That guy goes all the way into the water. Maybe he'll follow. Look at him, he's loving it. I think he's going in. Oh, he's going in, all right. Here he goes. Oh, almost. Oh, here he goes. That guy's following. Looks like they're getting ready to leave. Now I'm at the edge of Hawaii right now, and there's a lot of seabirds out there. Apparently there's, out here there are great frigate birds, Lysane albatrosses, red-tailed and white-tailed tropic birds, wedge-tailed shearwaters, Hawaiian geese, and red-footed boobies. And there's also blue-footed boobies out here too, but we don't really see any. And um, blue-footed and red-footed boobies both live in both Hawaii and the Galapagos. And there's a third species of booby in the Galapagos, the Nazca booby. It's the largest of the three species in the Galapagos. And the gannet is another type of booby. And some marine animals here. We've already seen the green sea turtles and the Hawaiian monk seals, but apparently there's also humpback whales and spinner dolphins out here. And one other interesting thing is, I've already told you about the albatross in the past episode when I did my episode about seagulls, but the frigate bird has proportionately the largest wings of any animal in the world in proportion to its body size. Well, I'm back in New Hampshire again. See you next time on Ben's Wild Adventure.